see tomorrow how the ladder shakes out, but I have a feeling his first-round opponent would be happy to pay for that bird scooter. The bird scooter was a big part of his victory. It's part of the story. <laughs> Another part of the story is the, uh, you know, the cringe that I'm sure Erica gets when she hears me talking about it. Sorry, Keith. Bobby Bodie. 4.07 yesterday at this time. They did not run that Arby car earlier in the day. We talked yesterday about Bobby and the fact that he is a student out at ASU. His marketing professor said, you can have the weekend off, but you're going to have to come back and do a marketing proposal about your race team. That's going to be part. That's going to be part of your assignment for taking the week. Alexis DeJoria said, number three. I'm going to tell you, that's Bandero Premium. It's got to happen like that every time from now on. Toyota. Looking pretty solid out there. 388 last night. Number one is 386. I do not believe Bob Tasca's 386 stays number one. Now, Bob Tasca may be the one that outruns that, but I do not believe that number stays low. Mustang and left side, Toyota and right. I'm sorry, Joe. No, oh, just uh, talking about Pittsburgh John Fiorita. Giving a little big momentum to Bobby Bodie. Let's see what they've got. Alexis puffs the tire, and then Bobby shuts off down there about 700 feet. 424 for Bobby. 238 miles an hour. Alexis goes 522. They'll both stand on their runs from before. That being a 407 for Bobby. That being a 388 for Alexis. Want to wish a happy birthday to Brady on behalf of Alice Bodie and the team down there. Now, it was not written on the back of a pro stock car, but if you can get Alice Bodie to send me a note, I'll wish you a happy birthday. And that was actually yesterday. That's a good policy. Yeah. Yeah. If you can get Alice Bodie to send me a note, you know, that way it'll keep her busy and cut down on some of the stuff that I get. The Bodie family is beloved. We want to see Bobby get all the opportunity in the world. 